สวัสดีค่ะ Welcome to Chiang Mai. Chiang Mai is known as the Road of the North. Its historical charm with ancient brick city walls, beautiful temple, small windy street, and many local markets. It is a blend of old and new. I'm Martin Wensky Stalling, the coordinator of Creative Chiang Mai, and I'm here at Tape Gate, the main gate of Chiang Mai. This is a space where a lot of activity is happening behind me, down that road. On Sunday evening is the walking street, one of the most famous evening walking streets with many vendors. The whole space is sometimes full. Chiang Mai is known as the Rose of Northern Thailand a beautiful old city with temples, with crafts, art and culture. But it's more than that. And this is one why I wanted to show you this place. We are now at the Northern Science Park, a place where technology, innovation, creativity, people come together to start new companies, to use innovation, to develop new products. So this is one of the nice things about Chiang Mai, is that you have a bustling city, you have nature, you have modern facilities like this, and you have the history, you have the culture, the art, the coffee shops. You have this amazing diversity in this city. I think because of Chiang Mai, it's a kind of small city. I think in terms of scale, if we compare with the big city in Europe or in America, we still small, we are, have a cozy feeling. We have a nature, we have tradition, and we have the life that compact in this city, I think this is make it more attractive for the foreigners, for the outsider. And everyone want to come to live here because there are many activities, festival, nature very nearby. Hello, I'm Tatanai Bunabukon. I'm the mayor of Chiang Mai City. What is your vision for the future of Chiang Mai? Really easy. I just want to hand on Chiang Mai for the next, genera the next generation and that is Chiang Mai is a diversification, mm. yes, and it's a, I think it's a, it's, it's a, Chiang Mai is unique. Chiang Mai culture is different from other parts of Thailand. And second, it's about our nature, yes. I think Chiang Mai has been popular with expats, with travelers of all sorts for a long, long time, and sort of when digital nomadism was sort of becoming a thing. You know, the very first people who were able to work from home, to be able to work on their laptops from anywhere in the world, were mostly people from software development backgrounds. And you know, Chiang Mai has long been a place where people outsource their software development projects. Because it sort of has like a slower pace of life, it's a city where there's like a lot going on, but it's not kind of like overwhelming it just hits the sweet spot for many different people you can save your money you can work on your projects you can easily like do everything find an apartment get settled in uh, it just you no know, snowballed from there it just grew and grew and grew hi my name is Lee a youtuber I'm from the Aka indigenous family and I've been living in Chiang Mai for uh, 15 years now and um, I'm here because I'm doing the social enterprise in Chiang Mai as well. The social enterprise that I'm doing is working with the coffee farmers in a very sustainable way. To me, Chiang Mai is very special because Chiang Mai is a multicultural city where many people from different backgrounds are living. Uh, not just uh, overseas uh, people that are coming into Chiang Mai and, and enjoy their life here, but also the, the mixture of the uh, different background of the indigenous people. And besides that, uh, Chiang Mai is still small enough for all the people that come from different backgrounds they, they can still maintain their uh, lifestyle the culture i would say and also that's all the people that come to visit chiang mai can see i think chiang mai is a nice place that includes diversity and i think that now in the world in this time of social media we tend to see things in a polarized way 
but Chiang Mai is inclusive way. So I think everybody's welcome here, everybody who wants to co-create a better city, a better way of living. And a lot of people are doing this by sustainable and organic projects, bringing community together with the same goal and the same direction. When you're in Chiang Mai, you start to feel, oh man, it's so relaxed, you know. It doesn't feel like you. So easy to, to go around, to sharing, to a lot of art form, a lot of color. It's a colorful city somehow. And that's why when you play music, it's really open. In the old day, we just, we 10 people, we 10 musicians in the beginning, 13 years ago. So we play every night, seven nights a week. And after we talk about it, let's, let's be a backup for any kind of music and we're starting to open our mind more and more. So in the end, right now, we have about 60 musicians, 17 bands. It seems like times go by and we learn. After we learn, we open more from our heart to accept, to, to share with other cultures and music. I think for any artist, the city that give you an opportunity to meet different kind of people from around the world um, can inspire you to get some new ideas. Chiang Mai traditional performing arts not so rigid compared with traditional style elsewhere in Thailand. So the arts is very fluid and dynamic. Uh, it gives you more opportunity to experiment with tradition without um, concerning about whether you will destroy the value of the tradition because it's so open up. M many people uh, always ask me why there are a lot of artists live here and why Chiang Mai have a lot of like uh, art movement. For, for my opinion, I, I think we have kind of a pioneer art, like a senior, they got more like an uh, inspiration from different kind of art we never know before. I was quite surprised when I arrived here in Chiang Mai so three years ago. When uh, that's usually the first thing that I do in a city is to check where the art galleries and uh, museum and so on, especially in contemporary art. So that uh, I find a great uh, art map, the Chiang Mai art map, with different places that was not all up to date. And at the end I was like, yeah, there is something that is really vibrant, uh, quite a lot of galleries and maybe less compared to Bangkok, something more quite natural, not that high end, but this is also something interesting because you have more underground and more really young artists. That's something that I really find it's really interesting here about Chiang Mai. As for the crafts and products that you can find here in Chiang Mai, it's a combination of traditional and modern. Uh, it includes also the heritage textiles and heritage crafts such as bamboo weaving, basketry and also the architecture. There's also the festivals and the activities in daily life that really show off the traditional lifestyle but put into the modern day and modern context as well. This is Niman Hemin Soi Wan and we have some beautiful crafts available already open on a regular basis and in December every year this street becomes a hustling and bustling fair called the Nap Fair and it is a wonderful event where there's a combination of um, arts and crafts and music and food for a whole five days between the 5th and the 10th of December every year. I feel like for Chiang Mai what is quite interesting is you don't have, I mean like in art world you, you never have one community, but you really feel like you have a mix sometimes between craft, traditional art, uh, sometimes like more like conceptual art, and you can find different places in Chiang Mai and different mm. communities who are uh, working about this. Mm. Uh, so I think that's something positive because you can have like the feeling that Chiang Mai is a, 
I don't know, you call it like a big small city or a small big city. So we do a number of publications at Creative Chiang Mai. We do a creative mapping report, which is a 200 page book that shows uh, what Chiang Mai has. This is very useful for visitors. Um, oh yes, we just had our 10 year anniversary. Uh, so this is a brochure about that. Uh, we've been working together and promoting these places. We do design awards. We highlight that Chiang Mai also has a um, um, growing and vibrant IT and design sector. So we do many, many things and these publications can be downloaded as well. For me, this is a new experimental type of space. We are interested in not only new building, but here we're interested in how to, we're interested in the role of old abandoned industrial structure. So what you can see here around you actually is almost a 50 year old abandoned ice factory. When we took over here, we had nothing, we had, you know, it was an abandoned space, we had no roof. So we spent a few years to renovate, to bring different artists, to work with us, to create a space that what we call is a bottom-up, you know, community space as well. So we welcome everybody from local artists, designer, architect, to come here and to run the workshop to share their skills and knowledge. I think Shamoy, they have three things that you can fascinate when you visit here. The first thing is architectures. The architecture was built in very early modern era. So you can enjoy the beauty of the facade of the building, which is like very nice. In every intersection, you will see, right, they will they will be creating the curvy corner in every building in the intersections. And also, the second thing is people. The people in Chiang Mai is very nice. People are still living here. They, they raise their business here, so they live and sell here. So people in this Chiang Mai is very strong and very strange community in here. And the last thing is the new business here. You can see many business like coffee, craft beer, select shop, this new wife is coming to this area and they try to conserve the old building with a new activities in here. So I think this is a contemporary and this is a new creative district for Chiang Mai. This, this art event, um, Secret Art Night, where a bunch of different galleries within the city um, uh, getting together and then hosting this one one night only event um, so that we would attract more people to come to Chiang Mai and enjoy the art scenes here. Especially during the um, special occasion of the city, you can easily uh, find traditional style of performing art, for example, um, different style of dance and also some practices that include some part of performing arts. So Chiang Mai is a nice city because a lot of people come here looking for alternative ways of living. They're looking for healthy food, they're looking for mindful experiences, they're looking to connection with nature. So this is a really good foundation to start a project that is related to the regeneration of the planet. We initiate this project to invite many groups of the people to do the urban farm together, to create the food security for the city and to create the place for the bird, for the insect, butterfly, <laughs> bees, to live because we want to live nearby the nature. This is, this is the luxury that we have. I used to live in New York and I worked like crazy and I got really burnt out and I came back to Chiang Mai to visit and I was like, why do I just come back here to visit? Why don't I just like move back to, to Thailand, to Chiang Mai where life is really good? Actually, Chiang Mai is an extremely unique city and it's difficult to actually explain. You, you guys have to come here and to find out for yourself. To discover Chiang Mai, the real Chiang Mai, you have to come for yourself and to explore hidden, off the map, off the chart destinations such as like this. The concept of sharing is right here, it's in the beginning. So that's why if you go 
just around the moon, you started to see different cultures. You started to see Lana temple, see uh, Muslim just right there next to one another. And next to one another, a hundred meter, just is the Chan community. They have like Burmese temple right there. And I think this kind of energy is still here. Still uh, st the spirit of sharing is still here.